Richard Lawson Burgess and Bill Bussey attended different schools while growing up in Calhoun County. They never even knew each other while living only about 12 miles apart. Little did they know that they would practically spend the next 30 years less than 12 feet apart. Rick Burgess and Bill Bubba Bussey are Alabama's radio legends known as Rick and Bubba. Quick, Bubba, it's Jumpin' Jack Chicken. Follow him! Oh! Hurry up, Rick, our fans are going wild! Just a second, Bubba, I can't eat sign autographs at the same time. <laughs> From their Jumpin' Jack chicken days, the longtime partners broadcast out of their elaborate first-class studio, WZZK in Birmingham, the flagship station of the Rick and Bubba radio network, with over 70 stations and their show broadcast live on YouTube and other affiliates, reach a neighborhood of several million faithful followers weekly. With the help from the dependable show producer, Calvin Speedy Wilburn. Not bad for a five-hour morning show that has captivated millions through their 30 years together. How do you describe an average listener? Reed over here, has yeah. been, he's from Gordo. Oh, yes. He has been listening to y'all, he said, since he was a baby because his parents listened, and they yeah. still do. Right. Well, I think a lot of times in our industry, they try to break down demographics and mm. give you these very tight windows of people and, you know, geographic right. and demographic yeah. and all this. We've always said the appeal of this show is 8 to 80 blind, crippled, and crazy. <laughs> yeah. So we cover so many topics, yeah. Jamie, and we have so much fun. We found it's kind of universal across the board. I think the key, too, is when we're having fun, the audience senses that, and they have fun. Did you ever think radio would work out to be a full-time job for either one of you? Well, I wanted to do that since I was a child. My mother didn't seem to think it would. <laughs> and, uh, and when I told her I was going to leave UPS, she was like, I really wish the benefits and the job security there, of course she didn't realize how, how poorly I was at it. I don't think I had a lot of job security there. We talk about doing Christian radio. I think we're Christians who do radio. And the way the platform works and gets an opportunity, it, you know, God's allowed us to, to reach people. He reaches them, but for us to get people interested in Him, because back to what Bubba just talked about, I think the audience has a loyalty because of how transparent we've been about every part of our life. and including, Good, bad, and yeah, ugly. People said, I've laughed yeah. with you, I've cried with you, uh, I've been inspired by how God has inspired y'all. That also you know, gave me an appetite for it. So I love to go out and teach the Bible. It's, it's one of my favorite things. How do y'all deal with wokeism these days? Mm. Well, we're not woke, so we can't be woke. So we simply point out some of the ridiculousness of this and the inconsistencies of it. And uh, some of it's just crazy now. It's off the chart. I was fortunate to be part of their radio stardom back in 2002 in a remote from the Beach Club in Duff Shores. Well, James, so you're, you're doing the show now, TV in the morning. So. Right, yeah, we call it, here we come to live. My wife, Gloria, she's over here running. Hey, Gloria. Right yeah. Hey, Gloria. 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 And it's just kind of like, uh, you know, kind of like a redneck David Letterman doing the Today Show. Plus the famous duo caught glimpses of the country rover back in the early 1980s on their local cable system. You now know. you said that when you grew up in Jacksonville that Channel 31 back in the oh, yeah. 80s yeah. was on cable. Yes, it was. It was on our cable. And that's where I and first saw you. your favorite person on TV was? Jamie Cooper, the country, the country rover. rover. Now we both had brown hair back oh, then, yeah. Jamie. Right, yeah. It was a while back. But, uh, and I All noticed we're still going the same barber. Yeah, right. we still are. <laughs> Thanks to Speedy, the show is a well-organized like production. How would you describe the camaraderie of all you guys in here? Uh, just natural, uh, natural chemistry. Uh, nothing is fake or pushed or uh, let's just uh, fabricate this, that, and the other. It's all improv, but yet our chemistry is so, is so much alike that uh, we just kind of go with it and... Um, and just it just happens. It's just natural. It's uh, God's really blessed us with not only that chemistry, but uh, for us all to be close friends off air too. What happens when somebody comes in and they're not feeling good? Or are they mad at the other person? Uh, we're pros, and uh, and we just move on. There's not too many days like that. Now sickness. If you've got a fever or throwing up, you can't come. All right, because nobody else well, wants it's that. Like right? Trying to get in Fort Knox. In here. Uh, well, I know. You know, we have the securities, and we did tell them about you. But no, <laughs> uh, no, I'm just kidding. No, we really have uh, really a lot of really good days. Not many bad days. But if somebody is not feeling well, you know, we jump in, or they go on home. And that's the good thing about having such a tight staff is that if somebody's not here, then we just keep on moving forward. Uh, I got to ask you though, with all these years you've been with them and mm -hmm. they've been the stars. Yes, sir. Did you ever want to be the own 
speedy show? Not really. I, I really didn't because I, I really am comfortable with who I am and, and the position I've been in. And I love to, to help produce and, and get things done behind the scenes. And those, those guys are the pros. I, I'm just the guy that kind of holds it together. Well, my next question was how do you describe uh, the sexiest two fat guys in America? Which they don't use that anymore, <laughs> but how do you describe them? Uh, to, they're, they're two original guys that I love. Uh, so much. They're like my big brothers. We're, their families are my family, and uh, we just have a lifelong friendship that's going to continue uh, even after the show's over. Things have taken a turn recently, and the popular show and its current format will come to an end and go forward with the Rick Bougie Show without the ever entertaining Bubba Bussy. What is the plans for Rick Burgess? So I'm going to continue to do uh, the, a show in 2025 and, uh, and, and going to do that until I physically and mentally same can't. Same hours? Uh, probably the same hours, probably mostly the same platforms. Seriously, so, where do you go from here? Uh, I don't know. I don't know yet. We're going to, uh, we've rebuilt a lake house that was destroyed by a tornado and we're trying to finish that up and we got a few loose ends, but I don't know, Jamie. We'll, what are we'll you going to miss about seeing him every day. Oh, I, I'll miss the camaraderie. I mean, these guys are lifelong friends and I, I will dearly miss that. I thought you were gonna say my hair. The one thing that all three of us have in common besides our natural good looks and love talking in front of an audience at a microphone is we were all three told in college we'd never amount to anything in broadcasting because of our accent. Southern accent. accent. Talking, like, yep. talking like a hillbilly. Like a hillbilly in Birmingham with our two Alabama originals, Rick and Bubba. I'm your country rover, Jamie Cooper. Now, Bubba, there is a chance we could do Bubba Rover. Now. I mean, <laughs> that's, that's a, that's Pass a good, me the application. That's a, there ain't no application. <laughs> See Glory over there. We'll go from there. Alabama original with country rover, Jamie Cooper is brought to you by Corbin's Air Water and Power Solutions.